Jordan and today I'm going to be doing the Intimidating TBR book tag. I decided to do this tag just because like my TBR has been intimidating to me so I don't know who created this book tag but I know that's been one of the popular book tags on booktube but it's all about um, your TBR and how it's um, intimidating to you. I showed you guys all the books on my TBR pile which I'll link in the in the corner in case you guys didn't see it. So I'll be talking about the books that are very intimidating to me. So let's get started. The first question is, is a book on your TBR that you haven't finished? And I picked Shout and Bone by Lee Barduco. I literally started, I was like two pages, uh, not two pages, and two chapters in. And not, nothing wrong with a book or anything. I just was in the mood for another book. And I just could not, I just wanted to, hopefully I'll get to it when I'm in, like when I want to read it, but for right now, it's fair. I have not finished this book. This is like the one of the books that I, I have not finished. <laughs> the next book, um, the next question is a book that you just haven't had the time for. And I picked um, The Book Thief by Mark Suzak. Like I know everybody on BookTube loves um, the, the, the Book Thief, and my sister has read it and she loves it. I just don't know when I'm, I'll am i be able to read it. I'm not in a um, historical fiction mood right now. It's like if I, I really want to read it, but right now I'm just not like at the time to um, read it right now. <laughs> the next question is a book that you haven't read because of a se it's a sequel. I picked Finale by um, Stephanie Garber. I wanted to read this so badly because I loved Legendary so much and Carnival. I just loved the whole series. I just don't know when I'll get to it because I want to get to the other sequels before I gets this. Plus, my library keeps getting the audio books checked out like that, so I'm just not sure when I'll be able to read it. I'm hoping to read it very soon because I love the Carval series and I'm just don't know when I'll be able to get to it. The next question is a book ju just because it's brand new. I picked Once in the Future by Amy Rose and Cap um, Capeta and Corey Mc uh, McCarthy. Yeah, that's her. That's the author's Names is a sci-fi retelling of King Arthur. I think it's really cool. It literally came out like just a few months ago and I really want to read it but I just don't know when I'll get to it because I'm not in a sci-fi mood. I just think it's a really cool, seems like a really cool book for me to read. I just really want to get to it as soon as I can just to see how I'll like it in the end. <laughs> the next question is, is a book that you've um, read by an author recently? But you pre but you didn't like it. I don't own this book, but it is um, American Street by Ibby Subway. So I've read Pride this year, and I just didn't like it. It's like it was okay. I just didn't like the characters, and I didn't like. Um, I just didn't, didn't like the characters. That's like a big um thing for me. I also didn't like enjoy the audiobook. I'm just afraid to pick up American Street just because I've heard. So many good things about it, and I just don't know if I'll be able to read it. I'm just afraid that I'll not enjoy it as well. as The synopsis of it just really grabbed my attention. I'm just not sure if I'll ever read it just because of what happened to me when I've read Pride. Next question is a book that you haven't read yet, but you aren't in the mood uh, to read. The next question is, is a book that you're just not in the mood for it, and I picked... Um, Sh um, Sherwood by Megan Spooner. I want to read it so badly because I love Haunted by Megan Spooner. It's just right now I'm not in um, Robin Hood retelling mood. I have like two of them on my TBR. I'm just not in a mood for a classic retelling right now, especially when I'm just what um, in the middle of fairy tale thon. So I'm just not sure when I'll get to this, but I'm hoping very soon when I'm in, whenever I'm in the mood for it. <laughs> the next question is: Is a book that you haven't read yet, but it's humongous. And I picked Turn Up Bun Bun by um, Tommy and Yami. It's like very tall and it's like 500, more than 500 pages. And it's really intimidating me just because I have not read this book yet and I'm so mad that I haven't read it because I've heard nothing but good things about it. But I'm afraid that with the book being tall, it was gonna it's going to take me like a month to read it and I'm just scared just because of how long this book is. Next question is, is a book that you bought because of the cover but it doesn't have very good reviews. I picked Death by Coffee by Alex um, Erickson. I just 
wanted to get into um, cozy mystery books, and I really love the cover. It has um, the kitty and the chair there, and, the, and it takes place in a bookstore, and I really want to read it. I just don't know why. This is like the lowest, the book that has the lowest rating on my TBR, and I just don't know why people gave it a low rating, and I'm just really afraid to pick it up because of it, but I just love the cover because it has a cute little kitty on the cover. And the final question is, the most intimidating book on your TBR? I have really have trouble picking um, a book for this one, but I picked Fury Boy by um, Claire Legrand. I've heard good things about it, but again, it's another tall book on my TBR, and it has deckled edges, and it's about 500 page book, and I'm just wanting to pick this up, but I just don't know when because I've heard nothing but good things about it, but the book is so tall, and I'm just afraid it's going to take me a whole month to read it. So yeah, this is one of the most intimidating books on my TBR. So that's all for the intimidating TBR book tag, and I hope you guys really enjoy it. Let me know in the comments down below um, a book that you bought because of a cover, but it has bad reviews, or your most intimidating book on your TBR, and yeah, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!